Hello family, beautiful joy here. God bless you all. Happy Sabbath. Today is August 17th, 2024. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, check out my recent video um, that I just did. It's in regards to the book of Jude. And I just now decided, I just felt led to read through the book of Jude. I believe this is um, one of the books that go that goes unnoticed by a lot of Christians, you maybe haven't read through it. And it's such a great reminder um, for the body of Christ now, even more so um, to continue to contend for the faith. Um, it warns us about apostates, how they're depraved and doomed. Yes, according to the book of Jude. Um, also how apostates were predicted. It also talks about how we should maintain our life with God as believers in the faith and at the very end of the book of jude it gives glory to god because god deserves the glory so praise god this is going to be a reading of the book of jude i'm going to be reading the let's see here i have the new king james version bible so if you have your bible follow along if you just want to listen and let's get into this and read the book of jude together god bless you guys so verse one talks about a greeting to the called Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. Then it goes in to contending for the faith, starting at verse 3. Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turned the grace of our God into lewdness and denied the only God, Lord, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5 goes into old and new apostates. Verse five, but I want to remind you, though you were once, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe and the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in similar manner to these having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, flesh are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal life. I'm sorry, eternal fire. Excuse me, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael, the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke you. But these speak evil of whatever they do not know, and whatever they know naturally, like brute beast, in these things they corrupt themselves. Woe well to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. They have greedily in the error of Balaam, or Balaam, excuse me, but Balaam to, for profit, and perished in the rebellion of Korah. The next verse, verse 12, goes into apostates, depraved, and doomed. These are spots in your love feasts. While they feast with you without fear, serving only themselves, they are clouds without water, carried about by the winds, late autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, pulled up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame, wandering stars from whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men, also saying, Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them, to convict all who are godly among them of all of their ungodly deeds, which they have committed in an ungodly, ungodly way and all of the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Verse 16 talks about apostates, how they were predicted. These are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lusts, and they mouth great swelling words, 
flattering people to gain advantage. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before the apostles of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you that they will be mockers in the last time who will walk according to their own ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons who cause divisions, not having the spirit. Verse 20 goes into how we should maintain our life with God. But you, beloved, building, building yourselves up on the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ until eternal life. And on some have compassion, making a distinction, but others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. And the last two verses, verses 24 and 25 of Jude, talks about glory to God. Now to him who was able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen, amen. And that is the word of God, brothers and sisters. I hope you get a chance to read through the book of Jude multiple times. Keep meditating on it. Such a great reminder, especially in the time and season that we're living in. The word of God still applies. And we need to continue to contend for the faith. We need to continue to maintain our life with God and continue to give God the glory. Praise God. Love you all. God bless you.